Item number SCP-000, Object Class Safe. Special Containment Procedures SCP-000 is to be kept in its glass case in Professor Snyder's office. If it is to be removed for study, it must be returned by the end of the day. Copies may be made of the content. No purchases may be made from the artifact's content without level 3 clearance and must be paid from one's own pocket. SCP-000 and any copies made cannot leave facility grounds. Description SCP-000 is a full-color, 200-page catalog printed on gloss paper. Front page reads, the official SCP sales catalog in large red letters on the front with a yellow star reading hundreds of bargains. In the lower right hand corner in the center of the magazine is a picture of Dr. Jack Bright smiling and holding what appears to be SCP-066 in his hand. When questioned, Dr. Bright insisted that he had never had such a picture taken. The catalog contains pictures and information on almost every single SCP artifact known. Though the information on each object is written more like a sales pitch than an official document. Prices, item numbers, and an order number are also listed. The bottom of the cover reads, Our best issue ever, suggesting that there may have been more issues of SCP-000 floating around. This is still being investigated. Besides artifacts, SCP-000 also includes a list of SCP-related merchandise, including t-shirts, books, DVDs, and even video games and action figures, all of which are based off of known SCP artifacts, phenomena, creatures, and personnel. Administration denies ever authorizing the creation or distribution of the magazine or anything it sells. Samples of sales pictures from the magazine include Item number 062 The world's greatest toothbrush Don't let the typo fool you This toothbrush is out of this world No toothpaste needed Just gently scrub your teeth And like magic all that nasty plaque is completely obliterated And for those ground in countertop stains Look no further than the world's greatest toothbrush Available in blue, pink and green Price beep dollars Item number 123. Contained Miniature Black Hole Back in stock after so many requests, this black hole is guaranteed to spaghettify anything you throw at it. Great for science projects and parties. And what better way to say I love you than with the gift of a contained miniature black hole? Order now while supplies last. Warning. Contains small parts. Price. Beep dollars. Item number 244. Ice bulk jar. Why waste electric bill money on expensive refrigerators? This jar will turn an enclosed space of any size into your own private meat locker. Freeze whatever you want. Just pop out the lid and watch it go. Price. Deep thousand dollars. Item number. 340. Insanity candy. A truly maddening prank. Trick your friends into eating these COVID candies. Watching literally go out of their minds. Available in five packs. Price, deep dollars. Item number, 447, ball of green slime. What can you do with it? What can't you do with it? You sit as a lubricant, top of your gas tank, style your hair, or even dress up your salads in Sundays. The possibilities are endless, now available in blue. Warning, do not apply to dead bodies. Price, deep dollars. Item number, 500, panacea. That Ebola, HIV, cancer, athletes would. This pill kills them all. No malady is too uncurable. Out of stock. Price, beep trillion dollars. Item number, 551. Impossible puzzle. Throw out your Rubik's Cube and put down that crossword. This is the puzzle to end all puzzles. No one in history has ever completed it. Can you? Hours of fun. Price, beep dollars. Many of the sales pitches seem to suggest that some SCP artifacts are not the only ones of their kind, with phrases like 
order to get the third one free, and so on. However, when more than one item is ordered, the arriving package only contains the original artifact along with a number of mundane replicas of the same artifact. Samples of merchandise related to but not listed as SCP artifacts include a white con t-shirt reading I survived the wrath of SCP-682 included a picture of SCP-682 on the front available in size small to extra 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 large price be plus. A 30.48 cm SCP-0762 action figure with interchangeable wardrobe, accessories, and carrying case shaped like SCP-0761. When questioned, SCP-076 expressed great distaste. Price be dollars. A two disc CD titled Dr. Clef's Holiday Hits cover depicts Dr. Otto Clef and the center outfit and holding a microphone. When questioned, Dr. Clef denied ever recording such an album. Price, beat dollars. A Girls of SCP Pinup Calendar, featuring Drs. Palmer and Wright, Break, and SCP-105, 336, and 166, all in various states of undress, all but Break claimed to have never posed for such pictures. Price, beat dollars. A three-disc DVD set entitled SCP Brawl, the greatest SCP vs. SCP fights. Cover depicts SCP-0762, 173, and 682. Each disc is nine hours long and features various kettle-level SCPs fighting each other, most of which have never been formally recorded or even attempted. Price, beep dollars. Soundtrack of Fernand the Musical contains two discs with ten songs each, many of which were of violent or vulgar nature regarding SCP-082, some of which are apparently sung by SCP-082 himself. When questioned, 082 proudly boasted about his supposed past in musical theater and the long hours he would spend preparing and method acting. The validity of these statements is debatable. SCP-082 is the current owner of the soundtrack, unofficially, as he has eaten the previous holder and refused to give it back. Addendum SCP-000 was discovered in Professor Snyder's mailbox on Beep. Though it was addressed to him, he insists on never ordering such a thing. No return address was found. The following is a transcript of Professor Snyder's attempts to gain any information on SCP-000 via the order number. Beep. Listed in the magazine. Document 0001. Hello. Thank you for calling the SCP sales catalog. What do you like to order? Who are you? Your order, sir. I'll ask again. Who are you? What item number would you care to order, sir? I'm not ordering anything. I demand to know who you are. I'm afraid you have the wrong number, sir. Goodbye. Data expunge. Note, the voice on the other end was described by Professor Snyder as a young lady with a British accent, speaking in a bored monotone. Document 0002 Thank you for calling the SCP sales catalog. What do you like to order? What is your name, young lady? Your order, sir. Can I speak to your manager? I'm afraid I can't understand your accent, sir. Please speak more clearly. I have the same accent as you do! If you have purchased from us before, you're eligible for a free year-long subscription to our catalog. Madam, are you aware that... What you're doing is not only illegal, but the items you're selling threaten the existence of reality as we speak. Your order, sir? For the last time, I am not buying anything from your bloody magazine. Who is your manager? I'm sorry, sir. You have the wrong number. Data expunge. Document 0003. Thank you for calling the SCP sales catalog. What do you like to order? I don't want... Mm. Sir? 
Fine, we'll do it your way. I guess I'll order SCP-005. That seems safe enough. And how many would you care to purchase? How many? There's only one. So that one order of SCP-005, your total is beep dollars. Would that be all right, sir? All right, I've bought something. Now will you please let me speak to your manager? Thank you for shopping with the SCP. Son of a data expunge! The following day, around noon, SCP-005 went missing from its containment area. Artifact was later found at Professor Snyder's doorstep in a cardboard box addressed to him with no return address or postage. SCP-005 was returned to its original place, and the money used to purchase it was deducted from Snyder's next paycheck. All further purchases from SCP-000 have ended in the same fashion. Attempts to trace the call have been unsuccessful.